Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're back on Persona 5 Struggles. Today we're going to be doing sending the calling card of, uh, for the, uh, Hyodo, for Mayor Hyodo. And we're going to fight the, whatever the boss is for this jail. Yeah. So, yes. we're ready to get going. Tomorrow's a big day, let's give it all, guys. Later in the, in the night. You need me, Harukun. I'm sorry for short notice, but you could we meet up. I like to talk to you. If you had time, it would be quite happy. I'll be in front of the map fountain. Okay. I'm sorry to call you out so late. I was worried about you. Thanks for being here. I wanted to talk to you about Mari-san. It's strange how I couldn't remember Mari-san until now. Even when Hasegawa-san said her name, it didn't quite occur to me who she was. But the moment she called me Haru-chan, suddenly, it felt like a lid popped open in my mind, and my memories came pouring out. I remembered all these things about my childhood, about Mari-san. How could I forget someone I loved so much? Have it to the best of us. I think what happened with my father affected me more than I realized. All the times we spent together, and the moment he passed away, I must have suppressed those memories deep within my heart. At some point, I got used to hiding things away, and I even forgot a good friend like Mari-san. You did what you could. No, I feel like, like I was running from it all over again. <sighs> A long time ago, I remember tagging along with Mari-san and my father during a golfing trip. I was so happy running around that I ended up tripping and falling. And of course, I started crying. Then all of a sudden, Mari-san came up to me and said, Stop crying and get back up. And that shocked me at first because I always thought of her as an extremely gentle person. But because I knew she was so kind, I managed to stop crying and eventually got back up. I remember thinking Mari-san would never say anything out of place. I trusted her completely. At that point, Mari-san hugged me and said, No matter how many times you fall, you can always get back up and start again. Never forget that. <laughs> can you believe it? I didn't quite understand back then, but I think I do now. There's more to good character than kindness. Being good means dealing with the bad in front of you. It means to take a stand, even when all you want to do is run away. To realize nothing will change if you keep ignoring reality. You're right. It's too late to save my father. But it's not too late for Mari-san. This time, I can change things around. I want to tell her exactly what she told me all those years ago. Then let's change her heart. Yes. Thanks for hearing me out. Tomorrow, I'm going to do my absolute best. But for now, good night. Wait, I should rest up tomorrow for tomorrow. Hey! Why is Haru so upset over Mariko Hyodo? I don't have a heart, so it's hard to understand. Why do people try so hard for others? I wonder if I'll ever know. You will eventually. Okay. I'll believe you. It may seem like a simple concept to you, but to me, it makes my mind go... <laughs> but I am humanity's companion. I am here to learn and grow. Aww. Well, I forgot to do the bonds. Shit. Maybe I might be able to do it when it can... Is that a calling card? Whoa, it's real. What's going on? 
Mariko Kyoto, a false empress with a frozen heart. You are a cold manipulator who treats people as tools to be discarded. We find this unforgivable and will end your reign of abuse. In fact, we will take back the desires you stole this very night. This is... Oh, God. You s and they say they're going to steal my desires? What a bald-faced lie. Those desires are mine and mine alone. As long as I'm the monarch, I won't let anyone stop me. Very well. I was just beginning to work up an appetite. I wonder what you'll taste like. Perhaps I should gobble you up and find out. Oh, God. She does, she does not look cool. Why are you just standing there? Take these wretched things down! Wait for us, Mari-san. It'll all be over soon. Let's begin the operation. Oh yeah, never gets old. Let's go. We need to change Mari-san's heart. All right. We're heading in. Go. Oh yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Go. Chain right up to the to the desires. Oh, this is. You can climb up those chains. Here we go. My gosh, you look like Sorry. Ursula. Well, who the hell is she? That, that couldn't be Marisa. Mm. <laughs> what on earth happened to her? I'm guessing this is Yoda's distorted form. What do you think you want? You are best. Best not get in my way. Oh, I'm almost there. A few more votes and I'll win re-election. This is wrong, Mari-san. Those votes you gathered by twisting the people's hearts are worthless. And if you don't stop your tyranny, your staff will collapse one by one. I get why it's hard for you to trust people, but you still have to treat them with decency. Ah, you shut your impudent mouth. I've done nothing wrong. I will ring out every Release the desires you stole. Listen to him. 
When you take away someone's desire, you rob them of their agency, the ability to make their own decisions. So what good does it do to turn your loyal citizens into mindless drones? Isn't it better to let them arrive at their own conclusions? To How dare you lecture me! Good job, Noor. You tell her. <laughs> Mari san, say goodbye to the countless desires you stole. Because Beauty Thief and the Phantom Thieves. Yes, Beauty Thief! Are about to take them back. Honestly. <clears throat> they're all in my way. Ah. It's just the last straw. Ah. 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 You've made me so very hungry. Time and the main course. It's true. Oh, my God. Martha, what you're doing is wrong, so we'll be taking those desires back. The blob. Surprise this curse of hell would be like fire. Take this. Oh my god, it's in her belly? I just realized that. Oh my lord, that's disgusting. This is some Red is an evil type of shit here. That was close. Oh, what the heck? She's aggro. Oh, 
Did you just a Joker? Drop that chandelier, make her spit from the impact. Do I have anything? To All allies, yes. Over here, over here, over here. I ran out of chandeliers. Shit. Trying to spin him out, Jesus. With 
Come on. Take him out. Finish it. Finish it. Reoccur. You took action as you saw fit. Am I right? As the mayor, I know very well that little girl's death was ultimately my fault. But my staff betrayed me, all for their insatiable greed. I thought I could leave that awful position behind. Unfortunately, it wasn't as simple as that. Had I gone, I'd only be replaced by greedy scum. That's why I never stepped down. In this world, it's either eat or be eaten. And with circumstances so cruel, I decided I'd be the one doing the eating. Even if every last one of my votes were false, at least I could use them to make the world a better place. But if I was replaced as mayor, who would be there to honor that little girl's memory? An innocent girl lost her life. Yet I could do nothing to stop the evil still afoot. It's not too late to set this right. First, you must tell the people everything that happened. Then can you get a fresh start. But this time, on your own strength. That would be... impossible. I cooperated with those awful men to hide the truth. That way I could continue being mayor. There's nothing I can do. <clears throat> Kyodo? <gasps> are you just going to stay knocked down? You are a kind and strong woman, not someone who collapses over mistakes. So stand up and hold your head up high, because no matter how many times you fall, you can always get back up and start again. Isn't that... Yes. You said that to me a long time ago. Even if you told the people the truth about the incident, there are those who would still see the good in you. Don't let your position ruin you. Think back to what you stood for. She's right, Mayor. You can't give up. If you tell everyone your side of things, they'll listen. When my father died, I felt like my heart was going to break. But thanks to the Phantom Thieves, I was able to stand strong and move forward. That's why I know you can, too. Remember the part of you that taught me to get back up, no matter how many times I fall. Yes. You're right. Thank you, Haruka. What I've done... was wrong. I drove my employees to the brink, and used a strange power to manipulate the votes. I was so driven by my personal agenda, I lost sight of how I originally felt. And why I ran for mayor in the first place. To make a city beloved by everyone. To give back to the home where I was raised. That's reason enough to take another step. I won't make this mistake again. I never needed this power from the start. You took the Kiara. Arucha, you've grown so much. Your father must be so happy. Mari-san, happy? <gasps> this place is collapsing! Let's go! 
Okay. Just like that. Oh, that took us quite a while. Haru, you were fantastic. You did great. It was only because you were all with me. But I do wonder if Mari-san will be okay. I'd say so. Her shadow disappeared like they always do. Yeah, your feelings definitely reached her. I'm sure her heart has changed for the better. Well, I guess this wraps up the mission. We still need to confirm that the citizens are all back to normal. It'd be nice if we could do that right away. Can we grab something to eat first? I'm hungry enough to pass out here. It has a point. Battles can't be fought on an empty stomach. The battle's already over, but still. Hey, can we try Genghis Khan? That delicious lamb barbecue dish? Ooh, that's a must in Hokkaido. What? I thought we were finally getting lobster hot pot. Oh my god, Yusuke. So when did we decide that? Why would we when it's so damn hot out? But if you think about it, isn't Genghis Khan also sort of like hot pot? No way! Isn't it supposed to be barbecue? Well, cooking Genghis Khan does require a utensil called a Genghis Khan pot. And you can't barbecue in a pot. Uh, yes you can. What about sukiyaki? True. Though sukiyaki is served hot pot style, its etymology does refer to grilling. I wonder why. Does it even matter? <laughs> hey, was that a smile just now? You have a great smile. Yeah. I'm relieved, too. I thought you might be weighed down by all that's happened. Indeed. She was so weighed down that she met up with our leader for a private midnight chat. Huh? Were you watching? I feel a, song, a strong bond with my friends. They found that they knew. <laughs> all right, Sophia. Find us the best Genghis Khan in Sephora. Genghis Khan? What? Hmm. Sophia? Uh, sorry. Okay, I've got it. Oh, she's... She's feeling conflicted. What could it be? Well, everyone seems pretty normal to me. Their fanatical support for Mariko Hyodo appears to have died down. I'm glad they're back to their senses. What a drastic change. Just goes to show how powerful a monarch's influence can be. Hey, guess what? hyodo sans holding a press conference right now. Thank you all for taking your time to gather here today. Actually, there's something I've been meaning to share with everyone. As of today, I will be resigning from office. I do not intend to seek re-election, either. During my time as mayor, I've betrayed all of your trust. You may think of me as a mayor who's earned your trust, but in truth, there's plenty that I'm ashamed of. The snow sculpture that collapsed was built by an unscrupulous company that bribed one of my staff. In spite of my responsibility, I neglected to see the finer details and went ahead with the construction. As a result, the sculpture ended up collapsing and a girl's precious life was lost. Furthermore, I elected to cover up the truth, all so I could save my position. I've been garnering votes I didn't deserve in order to stay on as mayor. I betrayed everyone to protect myself and covered it up by allowing more wrongdoing. I am among the guilty. That little girl, she died because of me. <sighs> As such, I will have the police reinvestigate the case and offer my full assistance. And again, I will drop out of the election and forfeit my position.
It seems that Hyoro-san's made up her mind. I wonder if she'll be arrested. Good question. Oh, Hyoto was afraid that if she wasn't the mayor, she couldn't protect her people. She could have told the truth and made her underling take the blame. But she was concerned about other evils potentially lurking in the shadows. I think this turned out for the best. Mari-san wouldn't have wanted to hide her mistake forever. Zenkichi is on the line. Hey, you guys see Hyoto's press conference? We did. Yep, you all did a bang-up job. Really, can't thank you enough. They plan on bringing Kyoto in as a key witness regarding the accident. I knew you'd want to analyze her phone, too. So I pulled a few strings, and now I'm her personal chauffeur. At least as far as the station. If you want, I can open up some time for you to talk to her. Just tell me where you want to meet. Oh, I'm sorry. How could you ever forgive me, Kaho-chan? Mari-san. Harucha. Listen, there was something wrong with me. It's like I was in a terrible dream. I don't know when it was that my heart grew so cold. But after what you told me, I remembered who I really was inside. When I became mayor, I wanted to protect this city and everyone in it as if they were my own family. Thanks to you, I've finally been able to confront myself. And I realized that I was doing a horrible disservice to that girl. I had lost sight of reality and begun acting self-righteous. But Mari-san, you were doing the best you could. No, it's the truth. Had I not realized my mistake, I would have likely continued to hurt even more people. But that's not what Kaho-chan would want. So let me say... Thank you, Haruji. Thank you for saving this city. For saving my family. Mari-san! Your father's recent passing must have caused you so much turmoil. I'm sorry I added to it. But if there's anything I can do for you in the future, any way I can be there, just ask me. I say this because you're a precious part of my family, too. Thank you so much, Mari-san. Oh, Haru-chan! I'm happy for you, Haru. Hmm. I suppose I must get going. Though I am concerned about the state of affairs I've left our city in, I'll leave it up to my successor. An arrogant wretch like me has no place being the mayor. Does that mean you won't be involved in politics anymore? Yes. I'm too ashamed to show my face in public. And at my age, there are plenty of younger folks who can... Mayor. Or? I saw the news. So you're resigning. And you're leaving politics for good? That's right. I've promised to step down and never... You can't be serious! Resigning won't bring her back. In fact, it won't change a thing. Kaho. Nothing can change what happened to my daughter. Hey, uh, shouldn't we get in there? Hold that thought a moment. So you can't! You can't just run away. You need to start over. Become our mayor again. What? When I was weeping with rage and grief, she stood there and cried with me. Instead of running away, you were there when I needed someone the most. I know your character more than anyone. Ma'am, thank you for sharing your heart with me. Then I promise to both you and your daughter, I will stand back up and become your mayor again. Marisa, hmm, I don't get it. I know this is a sad moment. Everyone is crying, but it also feels warm and kind. How would you describe this? B bitter, bitter joy. I see. 
So that's why Haru helped Hyodo transform sadness into happiness, recording valuable data. Sophia has learned happiness. That must have been the mom of the girl who passed away. You know, it seems like she really understood Hyodo's intentions. I'm so happy for you, Marisa. She reminded me of what Haru said in jail. Stand up, Mariko Hyodo! Like that? Uh, hey! That was a tender moment! There's no need to reenact it. <laughs> yeah, but you played it so cool back there. Uh, it really touched my heart. Well played, Beauty Thief. Could you please forget it already? My name is Beauty Thief. This is gonna make much progress to Sakinchi bit back. Can we do some sightseeing while we wait? That was kind of thing, I guess. At this hour, we're going to the first real burn. Who nice. knows? Oh, good idea. We should go invite someone to come along. All right. Um, right now, I'm probably going to save it for this video here because I got to get going. Holy cow, we got a lot of bonds. Point. save this so yeah guys i'll see you guys in the next video and then probably continue this off in the twitch stream so thank you guys for kept for helping me catch up to this part um i'm not sure if i want to continue this off from recording like this or do i want to continue on streaming but until then thank you guys and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye